morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. We have wrapped up here at Universe Rock and about to hit the road to head to Mississippi to pick up some amazing animals for the new expansion of the Reptarium. Can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited about what we're gonna do later on today. And we made it to Pearl, Mississippi. My buddy is actually a firefighter. Who didn't growing up want to be a firefighter, right? So we are going to head in, meet up with my buddy, and uh, see these cool animals that we're going to be adding to the Reptarium. I'm super excited about it. Excited enough to drive six hours out of my way to come see these things. Let's go inside and have some fun, and maybe later on we can play with some fire trucks. So hey man, thank you so much for having me out. Yeah, I appreciate the time. and. Uh, show me what you got, man. I'm, I'm super excited to see what we have going on here. I'm, okay. I'm like freaking out, guys. And I know I, I haven't really told you what it is, but it is, uh, it's turtles, people. So uh, let's look and see what you got going on yep. here. Where you want to start? Uh, well, you want to start on the end? So what do you got here? A little uh, uh, this albino is a soft shell? Albino Chinese soft shell. Oh, these are the Chinese soft yep. shells, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's now, now, how old is this one? This one's around probably a year old. About a year so old. So they only get about four to six inches. So she's about halfway grown. And then you got an albino. A common snapper, yep, right? Albino common snapper. Now, is this one the ones now? Now, you end up going, you have like some relationship with some farms around mm -hmm. here, right? Now, is this something that would be in a farm or did you buy this? No, one? I bought this one from a, a breeder. From a breeder. It okay. has some adult albinos, but oh, those okay. do pop up in the farm time to time. Yes, yeah, they they're do. really cool. Yep, I mean, that one obviously. actually came from a breeder, so it's proven genetic. I know, that is just amazing. Yep. I mean, it's, I mean, that is crazy. And that cool. one's kind of like, maybe a hypo because most of them are okay. kind of white like that one right but that one's got the orange to it yeah i love this thing. can you imagine when this thing is like that big i mean that's amazing and they grow super fast yeah i know this so how old is this one that one's only probably about mm, four months what yep four months because they're hatched like yep. this big uh-huh oh my super gosh that is amazing dude oh my gosh I got, I've got it. That's ironically enough. That's like kind of on my wish list going forward is yeah. to get a big albino snapper for sure. They're so I'm going to skip this tub right here okay. for a second here because I want to see this. So this is beautiful. Is yep. this just an albino uh, it's right here? Or a what's this? Lemon lime albino grande slider. Wow. So tell what, what? So back up. A, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a regular uh, red eared slider yep. bred with a lemon lime albino grande slider. So the Texas, okay. the Rio Grande Texas okay, sliders. Okay. Gotcha. It's to integrate with oh, those. I got gotcha. you. All right. So it's not an albino, but it looks really? like an albino. It yep. looks like an albino. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now this is a you know not a full grown adult, but pretty close. It's You've pretty had close. this for a while, or I've had that one probably for two and a half years. Two and a half. She'll maybe grow two inches or so, but in the spring she'll lay eggs. She's yeah. she'll, she's big enough to lay eggs. All right, and now guys, I haven't looked. I've been trying to not look at it because I want you guys to see the real reaction. Let's look at this tub right here. Oh my gosh. They are crazy, dude. Look at this little monkey right here. Oh, it's so cool. They are so amazing. And then of course, this is the animal how we ended up getting in touch with. This is chopsticks. the famous chopsticks right here. Look at chopsticks. Oh my gosh. Now, how old is chopsticks? They're a year old. A year old yeah. now. Okay. And you got them when they were just a baby? Yep, just a baby. Oh my gosh. These guys are so amazing. You guys know that I have an obsession with two-headed turtles. And uh, this is a really weird one right here. Yeah. This is actually like a conjoined twin. So you have like literally, you've got four front legs, two back legs, and two heads. Wow, that's the, now this is one of those freaky animals. It, it's kind of wild, man. Yeah. I mean, this is wild, but uh, wow, that's incredible. And now this is just, is this a normal, just so albino? This is snow. Have this you ever is heard snow. of the uh, caramel morph? Yes, I have. So that's an albino caramel. It's an albino caramel. You so look, there's, the eyes are solid red. Yeah. That's how you can tell the difference. Oh my no gosh. No pattern on the skin, no pattern anywhere. What's the deal? I mean, there's like turtle farms, and they just hatch like tons and tons of turtles, and then hundreds of thousand turtles. Hundreds of thousands. And then you know uh, they'll have an albino pop up, and some of the turtle breeders will say, "Hey, you know, I'll buy that one, and I'll breed them to a regular, make hits, right? And then a new turtle morph is born. So oh, yeah, it's just incredible. like." And you're, you're lucky enough to have a decent enough relationship with them where you're yep. able to, uh, to, to, uh, to get some, get they some get when they come together. Yeah, so that is amazing, I tell you what. So obviously I'm here because I want to see some cool turtles, but you know me, I want to take home some cool yeah. turtles. I like turtles. So <laughs> what, I, I, apparently, I mean, what do you got going on here and what, what's the deal? These are the three that 
we might be able to work a deal out with yeah. a couple, one or two of them, right? Yeah, well, anything here, pretty much. Anything, really? Besides my wife's soft shell. Ah, the <laughs> soft shell. You can't take the wife's soft shell? Okay, good, wow, wow, that's crazy. So, I know that you love chopsticks. Oh, yeah. That's like your baby. It's a hard decision, guys. You know that I've had a kind of rocky road when it comes to two-headed red earth sliders, um, but it's something that we've always wanted to add because you know, I'll get into more with like the common snapper and stuff like that, how it doesn't necessarily work into the scheme of what we want to try to do with the Reptarium. These guys are real active. They're mm -hmm. going to really bring a lot of kids kind of like curiosity. Just earlier when we first got here, everyone's just standing around looking at them. You know, a couple kids in the office were growing crazy. So uh, that's what we really want. So I've got to think about some things for a minute and decide what I'm going to do here. You know, in the meantime, let's play with some, some fire stuff. Well, so I guess uh, in their maniacal way, they decided that we're going to have a little race to see who can put on the fire gear first. And, and you're the fastest guy, they say. Uh, at, the, at the station right now, I guess so. I guess oh. I'm the fastest. <laughs> you know, I, I only want the best, so uh, thanks. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Wait a second here. You can't even get the boots on. How to do it, even though it was messed up. You got it on before you got on the scene. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I'm <laughs> This is this is the mess. coolest thing in the world, though. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is awesome, man. So here's the deal, guys. Obviously, I wanted to get some two-headed turtles for the Reptarium, uh, in particular sliders, because that was what Rick and Morty was. That was like kind of one of our real big mascot animals. We know that that didn't end well. That that was my fault. I feel very comfortable with these people as far as uh, their honesty and the fact that uh, they're going to stand behind them. They, they're really great, great people uh, that want these animals to go somewhere where people are going to enjoy. So this couldn't work out better for me. It's really amazing. Now the decision I have is that I'm going to take two of the two headed home. Chopsticks is a little bit bigger, more established. The small one is established, but it's pretty small still. And then the one that's like conjoint twins, that one I'm gonna probably take just because I think it's really cool. But that one I'm a little bit concerned about because it is so weird, but it is thriving. So the question is, do I kind of go on the bigger end take chopsticks, which costs a little bit more money, but it's more established, or do I take the smaller one? I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet, but uh, it's, it's, it's a tough call. I just want to do, I, I want to make sure it's the right decision, but I want to bring that experience just like Rick and Morty did in the very beginning, and certainly Ben and Jerry do now. And uh, and, and and by the way, I just want to really quick bring up Mar and Luigi. You know, two-headed snapping turtles are cool; they really are. But honestly, uh, it, it wasn't that interesting, and it just didn't work out at the Reptarium, to be totally honest with you, because it never moved. It always wanted to hide. When I did take it out, it would never move. People oftentimes didn't even think it was alive. It didn't have the reaction that a two-headed 
ready or slider has because they're always moving around. And that's what I wanted, you know, that's what I wanted. I, I was settling for Mario and Luigi because I just wanted something. But uh, when these came up, uh, I knew these were the ones that I wanted to put on display. So now the decision is, is what to do, you know? I want to make the right decision. So uh, I'm going to just give this some thought and then ultimately make the final call. So the decision is, is that I definitely want the three of them. So I want the, the cool caramel albino. I, the conjoint twin is just so goofy. I'll be honest with you, I'm not kidding you. When you sent me the thing, I was like, I don't even want that. That's too, but it is cute. It's, it's different super when you see them in person. And, 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 and again, it gives me the opportunity to teach some things as well, yeah. you know, because, you know, two heads to conjoint twins, a little bit yeah. different. Yeah. Polycephaly to conjoint twins. Yeah. So it gives me an opportunity. Then, I would really like to either get chopsticks. I like the idea of chopsticks because it's bigger. So it's more established, yeah. but I don't mind going with the smaller one because I know you guys love chopsticks. So oh, yeah. I'm going to leave that up to you. You guys to talk about it, and one way or another, we'll. Three of them are good. I'll take whatever three you guys decide. Okay. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. This has been one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I guess it's like, as a kid, you always admire fire. I still admire firefighters, obviously. It's just cool, man. I literally feel like a 10-year-old right now. I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd be riding around in a fire truck, dressing up like a fireman. I mean, these guys are true heroes, as you guys know, but it's cool just to step in their shoes just for a minute and uh, see how awesome it is. I mean, wow, I tell you, even though I'm super excited about the turtles, and that's why we came, this has been a bonus, and uh, I <laughs> loved every second of it. All right, guys, so what's the verdict? So, we talked, and our heart's gonna be broken. <laughs> I think if we get rid of chopsticks. Okay, we'll go the other way then. So, yeah. if that's okay with you, I know you drove a long way. Nope, nope. And if you really Listen, wanna I get want chopsticks. You, nope, I want you guys to be happy. I'm completely fine the other way. Okay, yes, and I'll yeah. tell you what we're gonna do. We'll, uh, we're gonna give you the Siamese as a gift. Oh my gosh. For coming. Oh yeah. my gosh, you guys are so amazing. And you know if we ever get rid of chopsticks, they're coming to you. So. Yeah. Uh, well, nope. thank you. Yeah, definitely do that. That is, I'm, I'm completely fine, and thank you guys. You guys are wonderful. So, uh, all right, I'm super excited, guys. Uh, we're going to pack these guys up, get them on the road, and we'll, uh, later on tonight, late tonight, they'll be home. We'll get them in a, a nice setup and get this thing to roll, and you guys can follow along, <laughs> so it's cool. And, by the way, just so you know, uh, follow Chopsticks as well, because uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, TikTok and Instagram. That way you can keep an eye on Chopsticks, and who knows, one day maybe Chopsticks will end up at the Reptarium. If not, hey, we've got a couple cool turtles to take their spot. So these are the three little monkeys that we're gonna take home. I got this little guy here, which is a perfect little red-haired slider that's got two heads. Of course, this is a little conjoint twin that has uh, obviously two shells. And again, it's gonna give me an opportunity to talk to kids in particular about the difference between a two-head animal that's a polycephaly animal and really a conjoint twin that is really two turtles and, and then somehow in the egg formed into kind of a mass. And then of course, this little one has just got so much character. This little caramel albino here, it's got so much character. It's it's going to be a cool addition so we'll have all three of these in one exhibit which is going to be really cool and then we'll see them grow and kind of thrive it's going to be amazing i know lori was super excited about this i can't wait to get home and show her what we got well dude thank you so much man i appreciate you man i really do i appreciate this like i said you're coming up to visit us sometime we are all right and uh and we'll keep an eye on chopsticks for you guys i really appreciate all the hospitality with the yeah. fire department and everything like that you guys are true heroes i really do appreciate thank you, you. Thank you so uh we're gonna go ahead pack up get our turtles and head up north And after a quick 14 hour drive, well, not so quick 14 hour drive, we are back at BHB. Not gonna lie, it's in the middle of the night. I'm tired, I'm gonna go home. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, could you do me a favor? Right over here, you can subscribe to that podcast channel that we have now. On this side right here, you can go ahead and roll through a playlist of a bunch of different things. You can subscribe to the vlog channel right here. Turn the post notifications on if you don't mind. Have a wonderful day, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.